five-minute fashion from the FITM Museum. This episode is on designer Issey Meyake. Issey Meyake was born in 1938 in Hiroshima, Japan. He graduated from Tama Art University, where he studied art and graphic design and began designing fashion. Miyake founded his self-named design studio in 1970 and became the first Japanese fashion designer to open offices in New York and Paris. His spring-summer 1971 collection featured skin-tight jersey ensembles printed with portraits of musicians Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin in the style of traditional Japanese tattoos. From the 1970s, he has been interested in using traditional Japanese design aesthetics. This minimalist, loose dress in muted earth tones skims the body and has a functional attached front pouch. The label at the interior neckline of the dress denotes it was produced early on by his Paris studio. The basic plain weave textile is a mix of wool and alpaca sewn with polyester thread. As seen in this bias-cut, asymmetrical, sheer linen gown, Miyake's earliest work often holds a minimalist aesthetic, which is directly influenced by his fabric choice. He noted, I always try to come back to a single piece of cloth, to the fundamental elements. This gown features permanently creased indigo blue fabric. It is one size fits all, noted on the garment label as size free. His clothing is not always derived from Japanese aesthetics. Creativity spans the modern global fashion market, with Mayaki acknowledging, I don't believe a designer really needs a nationality. Seen here in a red version, these lightweight silk pants with deep waist yoke and flowing legs were well received on the runway during the spring-summer 1981 Paris fashion season. Here are unisex cotton pants featuring an adjustable drawstring waist, deep, rounded pockets, and drapery that imparts design interest and promotes comfort. Miyake has offered his thoughts on color in clothing, mixing multiple earthy shades of tan, brown, and cream in ensembles. He said, one must not limit oneself to the small number of colors that one encounters in daily life, for nature offers an infinite range, and I feel that we don't go far enough in seeking them out. Miyake's loose silhouettes and drapery of the early 1980s support practical ease in movement and create interesting layering with shapes, textures, and colors. This oversized, asymmetrical shirt is a unique take on a typical male dress shirt. Miyake generally does not work from sketches. Instead, he drapes by hand, sometimes utilizing his own body instead of a dress form. I work by wrapping a piece of fabric around myself. My clothes are born out of the movement of my hands and body. Irving Penn photographed many of Miyake's designs for Vogue magazine and for book projects. They developed a special rapport, with Miyake stating, I realized that he is the most remarkable photographer who looks at clothes with a completely different eye. This look, captured by Penn in the book Issey Miyake, photographs by Irving Penn, is from the spring-summer 1984 line. And here is the same model of coat, of double-woven jute. The design draws exclusively from Japanese culture. The loose, boxy shape is derived from the traditional cut of a kimono. The rough texture of the fabric and color was inspired by kanpan, a Japanese hard biscuit or dried bread. The Miyake Design Studio has been a leader in innovative knitwear over the decades. This oversized tunic in high texture cotton is shaped adaptable by the wearer, capable of forming a hood or being wrapped around multiple underlayers of clothing. The glasses are also by Miyake. This photograph was published in Issey Miyake Photographs by Irving Penn. It captures the spring-summer 1985 seashell coat. This famous design features ribbed stripes that expand over the body. The various forms the coat takes and the accordion-like movement come from the wearer's natural ambulation. And here's the coat in a different colorway. Miyake noted, I have always started by looking at the body since that's the essential thing. The body is thrilling. My greatest desire is to make clothes that are as thrilling as the body. The complex, sheer ribbing of the seashell coat is accomplished with a cotton-wrapped fishing line interknit with the remaining cotton filaments. 
Checks and plaids combine into an atypical day suit from autumn winter 1987. The Miyake Design Studio's bold designs, although originating in Japan, were sold and worn around the world. The lines of clothing and accessories for men and women were available at varying price points and brought increased attention to Tokyo as a world fashion center in the 1980s. A runway image from fall winter 1990 by Michel Arnault with a two-tone asymmetrical hat which can be manipulated in part by the wearer. The hat is made of a material resembling crumbled paper and is suggestive of the Japanese concept of wabi-sabi. In part, wabi-sabi touches on the intriguing imperfection and wear of objects as well as the appreciation of beauty found in humble and used materials. This evening dress is made of yards of satin ribbon tacked at intervals in horizontal rows. When worn, the unique dress lengthens with gravity and the ribbons open at intervals to reveal a body underneath. The piece required a design team to realize the concept. Miyaki acknowledges this in his statement, design work is not a loan work. Dating to spring-summer 1995, the POW coat was inspired by arc-shaped tents used by nomadic people living in Central Asia. Research development for these permanent pleats took more than five years. Dating to 1995, the pleated sheer synthetic overcoat with colorful appliques bounces up and down and creates unique arcs and angles as the wearer walks. Research development for these permanent pleats took more than five years. The POW coat relates directly to Miyake's Pleats Please project, introduced in 1988. A label from a garment can be seen here. Pleats Please is a seasonal line separate from Miyake's other fashion labels. Featuring permanent pleats, the pieces are lightweight and easily packed for travel. Miyake has said, I am above all stimulated by the work of my contemporaries, living artists who are my friends. It was with that in mind that he started the guest artist Pleats Please series in 1996. Here, photographer Yasumasa Morimura imposes his own bodily identity on the 1856 Angra painting titled La Source, using a Pleats Please piece as a canvas. A satin menswear piece that is complexly pleated in diamond shapes, similar to the basic folds of Japanese origami, or folded paper art. Called Pneumatic Couture in the press, this ensemble was inspired by American football uniforms. A lightweight printed nylon mesh blazer is paired with sporting breeches featuring blow-up plastic bladders at the thighs, creating an imposing, protected physique. Isimeyake stresses team collaboration from research and development to design prototypes and advertising campaigns in his fashion, fragrance, and accessory collections. The Bao Bao bag has been in production for 20 years, interlocking geometric plastic plates linked together in ever-changing colors and sizes to form bags that morph by chance in movement. Mixing cutting-edge technology with handcraft is a hallmark of the Miyake Design Studio. A design for 2021, the geometric, shimmering frost dress draws on technologically advanced fibers and production methods, yet is entirely hand-pleated.